We are gonna start on another type of Danish using it's a sheet of crescent rolls. And so instead of having the little triangles, it's it gonna again. be a long sheet. So you wanna carefully unwrap it. Okay, so on this one, I used parchment paper. You could even just do it right on the pan because we're gonna cut and you're not supposed to cut on those silicone pads because it might cut through it and ruin it. So we have it open like this and we're gonna make a cream cheese mixture. So I have six ounces of cream cheese. Mm. Mm. Do you want to pour that in? Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. okay, Jane, do that one. Can I do it? This is a quarter cup of sugar, and then this is three tablespoons of flour. I love it. Yep. And then we have about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Do you want to put it in? Do you want to smell it first? Whenever I open the vanilla can, they always want to smell it. So we have all the ingredients. And now we're gonna use the mixer. Do you like it now? Yeah, just a minute. <laughs> yeah. See if it tastes good. Mm -hmm. So now we have our cream cheese mixture and we are going to just put it all down the middle of this. It's kind of stiff and hard. Better if your cream cheese is softer. Mine wasn't really soft. And just put it down the middle. Okay, if you just want to keep it cream cheese, this is where you would stop. But we are going to add some raspberry filling. Here? Everywhere. Okay, look. I want you to get a big spoonful. Whoa. Whoa. Just do this. Put it right okay, down the okay. middle, okay? Now here's the tricky part. You're gonna get a knife and you're just gonna cut just these little on a diagonal, okay? And you're gonna cut them about an inch apart. Do you guys wanna try cutting? Yeah. Whoa. You have to push a little bit harder because it didn't go all the way through. Good. starting to lose it a little bit. We're just gonna bring it back. Now we're gonna finish with this. So what you do is you get this part and you bring it over here and you push it down. Get this part and you bring it over and push it down. And then you just do it back and forth. So now we're gonna do this side, pinch this side and pinch it to the other side. Do you got it? Do you wanna try it? Yeah. Kind of like braiding hair, huh? And these, we're just gonna bring them up, pinch them, the other end, we're gonna kind of do the same so it doesn't all spill out. So this is the egg mixture again, we're just gonna put it on top. You don't have to do it, but we like to paint and practice with that and have fun with that. We're painting hair. So now we're gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees and we're gonna bake it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so this has cooled down for a little bit now. If your icing gets too thick, you can always add just a little bit of tap, hot tap water. See how this drizzles? We're just gonna practice that a little bit in the bowl. And then we're just going to drizzle it on top. Is that pretty cool? Yeah, yummy, yummy. Now we're just gonna cut it. I love how the raspberry and the cream cheese are just so good together. There you go. So we had a lot of fun experimenting with some new recipes and some new things to try. Go ahead and make it at home and send us any pictures or any feedback that you have. Subscribe to Half Pint Cooking and visit our website at halfpintcooking.com. Bye. Tricky part. Thank you.